and welcome to Dr. Jim Lapbap's musical, What Ifs. Today, what if classical music was syncopated? As always, very broad reductions and generalizations about the classical period so I can fit it in this video. So like my previous video on Schoenberg, I'm going to explain what's going on and then play all the music at the end. So if you would like to see only the music, please skip to blah, 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 because after I edit this, who knows what the time code will actually be. One of the features of the classical era is the obvious division between the melody and accompaniment. Melodies tended to fall on the beat, in line. This is the Enlightenment. Everything was rational. Everything was ordered. So your melody fell on the beat. Everything was organized well. That's the general idea. A lot of classical melodies fall on the beat. One of the main differences in melodies in popular music starting in the 20th century, especially compared to the classical era, is syncopation. Syncopation isn't the kitchen getting clogged up. It's the rhythm of the melody or something is off the beat. It's not like this. It's like this. It's off the beat. Now, syncopation did exist in classical and actually in the inner voices a lot in Baroque and Renaissance music, but it's not quite the same like we are accustomed to. As we know it, when we think of syncopation, you could say it was codified by jazz, of course. Again, broad generalization. It's much more nuanced than this. Jazz is basically the American melting pot of music. Basically, every popular music that exists today is the descendant of jazz in some way. And so you hear that syncopation everywhere. So before I go into that, I'd like to talk about the specific story of how this certain thing came about. Many years ago, somebody sent in Blend In by Kanno Yoko. Yoko Kano. Kanno. I'm not sure how Americans say it. This person sent me in this recording for my blind arrangement. I wanted to arrange it based solely on what I heard. They work hard to blend in Just a few to mention So it seems What I heard was on the beat. I heard da 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 but it was not. I realized this whole part is syncopated, but it sure doesn't sound like it. It's actually da 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 Da, 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 da. So that's where the genesis of this little what if came from. What if I did that to other things where it sounded like the melody was on the beat? I basically said, let's take this music from the classical era and move it back a half beat or a quarter beat or backward, keeping the melody and the rhythm completely intact, but moving it back so it's all 100% syncopated. Notes that traditionally fell on the beat would be ahead of the beat. Instead of one, two, three, four, it'd be one, two, three, four. Of course, popular music from jazz onwards still has notes that fall on the beat. In fact, it's usually some alternation between on the beat and off the beat. For example, if you really wanted to do authentic 20th century syncopation, you would start on the beat, then go off the beat. But just for the sake of this little experiment, we're moving everything that was on the beat to off the beat. When your melody is on the beat, you don't need the accompaniment to emphasize it. When you move it off the beat, you need the accompaniment to emphasize it a little more. For these three pieces that I'm doing, I have adapted them into genres or styles that have heavy syncopation. First up, it's Haydn's Surprise Symphony. Officially, it's Symphony 94 in G Major, Movement 2. It's known for, spoiler alert for a piece that's 227 years old, having a loud orchestral hit in a very quiet passage. It's like I'm going to talk like this, and then I'll go, hey, and then I'll just go right back It as if nothing ever happened. That's sort of the gimmick of that piece, and so they've nicknamed it the Surprise Symphony. It's in a 2-4, da, 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 da. So one, two, one, 
And what I did is I moved it back a 16th note. It's now a 16th ahead of the beat. Da, 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 da. I decided, I guess that kind of sounds like a bossa nova. So let's do a bossa nova arrangement of it. Put the melody in the saxophone. And this one, I added a piano bossa nova chord accompaniment. This is definitely not in the original. The second piece is Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, Movement Two. It's famous for being in the King's Speech and X-Men Apocalypse recently, but it's a pretty famous piece. And it's very much on the beat. Da, 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 da. That whole thing is da, 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 da. It's all the same rhythm pretty much throughout. Beethoven milked the rhythm of his melodies as far as he could get them. I don't know if that analogy works. In this version, I kept all the original parts and added a you know, like a walking jazz bass line. But all the harmonies are pretty much cut and paste from the score. And so it's kind of like a jazz combo. And in this case, the da 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 da, I decided to make the da 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 the beat. And then I took this and made it swing. Anytime there's a 16th note in the accompaniment, it gets swung, but the melody doesn't change at all. In this piece, the melody is moved back, not technically a 16th note, it's technically a swung 16th note, so it's closer to a 16th triplet, but the rhythm is still exactly the same. Finally, is probably the piece associated with classical music, one of the pieces associated with the classical era, and that's Mozart's Eine Kleine Nachtmusik. Most people I've ever asked have heard of it before. When I play it for them, they know it, they've heard it before. It's very famous. Probably this, along with Beethoven's Fifth, might be the most well-known classical pieces of music. Oh, that's right, and Pachelbel's Canon, but technically that's Baroque. So for you seasoned music veterans, my apologies. Everyone's heard it so many times. But hey, you'll get to hear it completely syncopated this time. To really emphasize the beat, I had to make this like an EDM where the beat is pounded into your brain. Boom, 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 boom. Otherwise, it just sounds wrong. When I first just used the strings, I heard the melody and all the accompaniment was late. I decided to make it so the accompaniment really tells you where the beat is, so it forces your brain to think of the melody as syncopated. This one changes zero notes. The bass part is the same, all the accompaniment is the same, and the melody is the same. What is different is some parts of the accompaniment are in conjunction with the melody, so I moved those back to match. But when it was outlining a harmony, I had it go on the beat. Anyway, away we go. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Lampbap again. Thank you for attending my quasi-educational, quasi-intellectual, hopefully more than quasi-good video. Please let me know if you'd like me to do more of these. I have ideas for more of them. I run this channel 100% by myself. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, and I have a Patreon. Thank you for watching again, and class dismissed.